Hello. Uh, this time we're going to disassemble Acer laptop. The model is uh, Aspire 5738. The problem with this one is there is something knocking inside, so I have to disassemble it uh, to check what's the problem. So I decided to make a quick video. The first thing we gotta do, of course, is remove the battery and all of the covers. The laptop is pretty much easy to be disassembled, so it's a basically a standard procedure. So I'll try to show you. <coughs> We have to take the hard drive out because since I'm gonna disassemble it, so I'm gonna clean it, change the thermal paste, so we're gonna disassemble the whole thing. You don't need to remove the memory because uh, it goes out with the main board. We'll remove the Wi-Fi module because I think it's uh, held in here with the plastic. Like this. The laptop hasn't been disassembled since now, so <clears throat> we'll see what's inside. After that, we're going to remove the optical drive and start removing I'm gonna remove the card, start removing all the screws. I prefer to remove everything at once so I don't have to open and close the laptop a couple of times, rotating it. So basically, I'll remove everything from here, then turn it back around, remove everything from the app, the keyboard. For me, it's much easier. All the screws on this side are the same size, <clears throat> so you shouldn't be worried. Uh, it's very hard. Like this. In this model, as much as I remember, we have to remove the display also because the board the board is behind. So let's have a final check. Is everything removed? Yeah. Now we turn the laptop upside down, open it, and now we have to remove the cover. Start from the right. It doesn't have any screws on it, it just got a cable for the power button. So we remove it and remove this. Like this. The next thing we gotta do is lose the keyboard. It's held by a clips like this. Just remove them gently because if the laptop is old, they become very fragile and you can break something. Be careful with the cable. Yeah. <clears throat> the next thing we gotta do is disconnect all the cables. Uh, we have to take out the Wi Fi cables also because we gotta remove the display. <clears throat> The display is held by two screws in here, uh, but first 
we have to disconnect the LCD cable it will be much easier like this the next thing you gotta do is just unscrew those two here and just lift it up like this I will leave it on the side <coughs> now we're gonna disconnect the microphone here like this we're gonna disconnect the touchpad and the fingerprint like this we're gonna disconnect also both of the speakers like this and this one and now there is three white screws on the upper side they are a little bit shorter than the others so you have to leave them on the side basically that is the thing in here right now we start pulling the plastic it's better to start from this side because there's a plastic clips like this be, car be careful because like I said the thing can be very fragile like this and it's out now let's see what is making the noise there's a thing falling down now sorry about that now we're gonna remove the modem here disconnect the cable 
the whole board is held by one screw in here if you are getting confused you can put a small mark in here so you can know where the screw is and don't make a mistake now the next thing we gotta do is try to pull the bore out and disconnect the cables here for the bluetooth just lift it like this let me find something to put the board on and that's basically the whole thing the next thing we got we gotta do now is just unscrew the bolts which are holding the cooler Don't leave the cooler up right away. It's a good idea first to move it a little bit left to right so it can unstuck from the from the CPU like this. We're gonna open the cooler just to see what's inside because I think there'll be a lot of dust in it. It's it's not that bad actually. When you clean it, it's a it's a good idea to clean the fan, clean the processor thermal paste, and if the thermal pads are bad, you can replace them if you find the same. After that, just put the new thermal paste, put the cooler back, and Re reassemble on the reverse hope you like the video bye bye